Okay, in this question we're asked to determine the values of ICEQ, VCEQ and IV for the circuit shown. Well, the Q in the ICEQ and VCEQ refers to the quiescent or at rest values of the collector current uh, going through the collector emitter and the voltage across the collector and emitter. When we say quiescent, we're referring to when there is no input signal and the voltage around the circuit are at a specific DC value. We can see that R1 and R2 form a voltage divider between the power supply and ground. And this is the input into the base circuit. So, in this particular example, we're looking at a voltage divider of our universal bias circuit. The first step we must check is the loading effect of the transistor. We do this by comparing HFE times RE and 10 times R2. Now if the value HFE times RE is greater than or equal to 10 times R2, which is the case here, we can ignore the loading effect of the transistor and continue as follows. So our first step will be to calculate the voltage at VB. Well, we already know that it's a potential divider circuit, therefore by using our potential divider formula, as illustrated here, we're able to calculate the voltage at VB. This gives us a value of 2.73 volts. Now our next step will be to calculate the voltage at the emitter terminal. Well, we know that there's a 0 0.7 volt drop between the base and the emitter. So the voltage point at the emitter must be 0 0.7 volts less than the voltage at the base. So we subtract 0 0.7 volts from our voltage at the base. This gives us 2.03 volts. Next, we calculate the emitter current. Well, we know the value of RE at 1K, and we know the voltage across the resistor at 2.03 volts. Therefore, we can use Ohm's law to calculate the emitter current. This gives us a value of 2.03 milliamps. And the total current IE is made up from the combination of the current IC plus a very small combination from IV. This is Kirchhoff's current law. So for the purposes of this question, we can assume that IC is approximately equal to IE. Using this current value of 2.03 milliamps and knowing the resistor values for RC and RE, we can use Ohm's law to calculate the voltage dropped across both the collector and the emitter resistor. By adding these together and subtracting them from the voltage supply of 30 volts, we're able to calculate what the voltage is across the collector and emitter. The final step involves the calculation of IB. We calculate IB by taking the emitter current and dividing it by beta time plus 1, or HFE plus 1. In this example, it leaves us with 13.4 microamps.